Yo, yo, yo. How we doing, everybody? Happy Wednesday. We got the uh, the free class going down very soon, about an hour and a half. It's going to be a great time. Let's make sure you guys are uh, signed up for that. Uh, what up, Pete? What up, 100 ROI? How you guys doing? Um, yeah, we got lots of sauce and um, some new stuff tonight. We all, we're always adding in on uh, on the uh, the value, adding some more good stuff. So um, hop in. Even if you're already selling Amazon, you'll pick up a couple gems. And yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a fun time. Yeah, I promise you guys, if you haven't been to one of those yet, you're not going to regret it. It is incredibly helpful. I promise you, you will take away some absolute fire to go ahead and implement as soon as possible. 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to get the Instagram stream going too. Sweet. What up, Sadiq? How's it going, man? What's uh, what is what, what's Sadiq's 2K rating after the Miami trip? Uh, oh, well, I played with him before. <laughs> um, it's like a Dion Waiters. Um, so whatever price, 70, 72 or something like that. Nice Mid seventies action. <laughs> like he's not gonna, like he might explode for twenty seven once or twice. <laughs> so yeah, let uh let us know if we uh if we can answer any Amazon questions for you as well. Hang on, um, probably thirty minutes or so. Andres, you changed your profile picture, dude. You had Ooh. you were asking great questions yesterday. I think you changed your profile picture though. Not that there's a problem with that. Cool. Andres, I'm are you the are you the the same Andres that was in Miami? I don't think Did so. Did I meet you in real life? Not completely sure. What's up, everyone on Instagram too here? I will take Dion Waiters any day of the week. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so he knows this place What's here. up, Crystal? Interesting. See you yeah, yeah. You're coming off the bench, though. Do 81s come off the bench? Cool, sweet. All right, so those of you guys hopping in here on Instagram, in an hour and 28 minutes, we have a free training going down. Um, we're going to be breaking out a ton of really good beginner as well as expert tips that we don't share anywhere else for free. So definitely get registered for the free training if you're interested. Absolutely. Gotcha. Um, Y'all got to play with the new uh, the new keeper feature that dropped last night too. I'll be I'll be jumping into some of that on the uh, the class tonight. But the seasonal estimated sales like there's lots of good stuff there. Can't wait. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be fun. You got uh, seven board is LLC. I'll see you in there, man. For sure. I missed yesterday's live. Don't miss tonight's though. Seven p.m. Eastern. Okay, Andres. Damn, it was another Andres then yesterday, I think. Um, or it was you a couple days ago. Yeah. I got Andres is. I guess you just you get rich on Amazon if that's your name, I think. <laughs> I actually know another one too. That's uh, yeah. Too. All yeah. the Andres are out here printing the money yeah. on Amazon. Imagine an Andres from Minnesota. Uh, <laughs> how soon should I get my LLC and credit card? So that's really up to you, man. The LLC thing, I have no idea like your specific situation. Um, and such. So I have no idea kind of the legalities of what makes the most sense for you. Um, business credit cards, some people do that quick. Some people do it um, slower, just kind of depending on uh, risk tolerance and such. Um, yeah. When you're ungated in a subcategory, are you still gated in some brands? Uh, yes. However, most subcategories aren't going to require ungating. Um, some brands will. Like a couple. Um, yeah, I exactly. Even think of it. Yeah, not off the top. But yeah, like Chris, you'll get like grocery, but then Starbucks will be gated, for example. Yep. Yep. Uh, like the premium stuff. Um, how long is the average person to take to get their first dollar? That's not a bad question, but like uh, two to four weeks, depending on how fast you start buying stuff. Like really like as soon as you start buying items or even better, like go out to a store, you can make your first sale in the next you know five hours. I guess you got to wait for the Amazon accounts. You probably got a couple of days on that, but um, yeah, you hit the store, scan something that's profitable, flip it that way. Like you can, you can really uh, make some, make some money quick. You're not gonna be a millionaire on month one, but you can have that first dollars come in. You get proof of concept and starts to compound. Uh, is it too late to register for the class tonight? Nope. You can head to the link in the description or link in bio and get signed up for that as you please. What do you do if you order a product online and they don't send you an invoice to get ungated? Uh, the same thing you do. Uh, even if they did, you just submit the email, which is what uh, what you guys should be using for that. Okay. I'm from Pakistan. And I'm a virtual assistant. My client wants to start drop shipping. Please explain about it. All right, good for you. You're in the continuing education. You you have a very lucky uh, you have a very lucky employer there. Um, so a lot of, uh, yeah, the the VAs that are watching the streams are always the uh, yeah. they're, they're the killer ones. Yeah, a lot of the ones, a lot. I'm sure like you've had it before. Like people say they they've watched the videos before. I like I might I might be inclined to hire you. I trained you on accident. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, but so, yeah, yeah. You probably don't want to drop ship. Is at least if they're talking about Amazon. Shopify, that kind of stuff. It's like a whole different business model, but that type of stuff can also work. Like, pick a vehicle that works and run with it. Stick with it. Just don't don't switch businesses every two months. That's what that's what a lot of people do and ends up uh, not working that way. 
Yeah, you also just might have online arbitrage and, and drop shipping confused, right? So we don't necessarily drop ship on Amazon, although it's a it's a cousin of drop shipping. You can't really drop shipping on it. Yeah. You can't really. You're not supposed to drop ship on Amazon. Um, Is that Stevens VA? <laughs> Uh, any sourcing tips, storefront stocking is kind of hard. I can't find out the price they did. Well, that's the key to making it work, man, right? So implementing all these discounting strategies that we talk about, right? Coupon codes, holiday sales, discounted gift cards from Cardware and Top Cashback. That's how items are going to become good. Yep. Um, you got the course halfway through. Should you finish before buying products? I would start buying stuff now, Phoenix. Like yeah. half, the, half the course is stuff that will be useful once you're a twenty, thirty thousand dollar a month Amazon seller. So you don't need to finish all that. Like once you know the basics on sourcing, spend, you know, seventy five percent of your time doing it, you go to twenty five working your way through the rest of the knowledge out there and all that. Like the best way to learn is doing now that you know the fundamentals. I did that and got rejected. Yes, that's completely normal. It's probably gonna happen between five and ten times. It happened the exact same thing happened to me too. How can I sell on FBA if I live overseas and aren't able to send products from the stores directly to the fulfillment centers? Yeah, just sell. So what you'd want to do with that is utilize what's called a third-party prep center. And that's actually part of Warner's talk tonight is going to be on how you actually go ahead and get one of those set up, how you find a gigantic list of prep centers, stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Don't let that uh, don't let that slow you down though. It's uh it's basically like a little bit a little bit of paperwork if you're international, but once you get the Prep center, all that. It's the same business. Bartenders while you're watching the court. Yeah, that's that's what's up, man. <laughs> Got to do something to uh, to build the cash initially. Why can't I apply for a certain product? It's either you're an individual seller, not a professional seller, just based on your account type, or that listing isn't accepting sellers on it. I'm having trouble using cold. Uh, like, yeah, just keep submitting. And then uh, you can also try like ASOS. You can try it. Shop WSS. Like there's a couple different sites. All of them have profitable inventory. So just keep buying more profitable stuff. Submit that and you'd be good to go. Should I focus on getting ungated in brands like Nike, Adidas, and Puma right off the bat? Yeah, absolutely, Auto. Yeah, that's a good idea. Are you selling Walmart? No. However, that is a great idea. There's some really good unit economics on Walmart for products I already sell on Amazon. I'm, 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 I'm working on it. We're, we're firing the Walmart account back up. We'll make some listings. Yeah, we'll... <laughs> I remember we all talked about it at the yeah. end of 2021. Right? Well, it's it was terrible. Like it was really hard to like add listings, yeah. and there was no Walmart FBA yet. But now there's like a lot of stuff that. Probably have the prep center, see if we can start doing some Walmart and mix in some sales, even just for fun, just to show you guys. What's up? Yeah. Awesome, Drew. God, you like it, man. Um, any sites you'd recommend to ungate the brand Columbia? Wherever you found it profitable, which is probably going to be the Columbia website or one of the gigantic retail retailers. Now, how do you get a catch-all email now? No Google domains. Yes. Use what's called a Namecheap for that. So look up on YouTube how to create a catch-all using Namecheap. Catch-all email. Yep. Uh, for R, is it better to buy product in stores or do the scanning on seller amp go online to buy? Um, I mean, Chris, like when you're doing RA, usually you hit like like discount stores or outlets or the clearance aisle, that kind of thing. Um, you can always so you know source some products online, go buy it in store. That's just gonna be a lot harder to scale that way. So a lot of stuff that you'll be finding in store, you won't typically be able to get at that price online, and that's why RA is so effective. Is you're putting in the legwork to find stuff cheaper than anyone else can get it online. Yeah, it's kind of weird, especially like Nike, that they'll do that. But that is literally exactly how they do it. Like for whatever reason, they just certain things go uh, to the outlet, certain things go online. When doing FBM, how do you pack your products, poly bags, and Lowe's boxes to the customer? Yeah, so I love the 9 by 12 poly mailers from Amazon, the gray ones. Um, there's like probably a billion listings for them. Um, and then get your other stuff from Walmart. Eventually, you're going to optimize, but that is the last thing you need to be worried about optimizing right now. Is <laughs> yep. Um, how to estimate shipping rates for FBM orders. Uh, Miles has a good little quick guide on that, how to FBM.com. Um, but also, uh, just kind of like next time you get an FBM order, just plug in a bunch of different like dimensions and weights, kind of write down what you start seeing, and those will be generally good estimates for you, you know. Pound will cost you, you know, anywhere from like four to eight bucks. More than that, will cost you, you know, like a pair of shoes will probably cost you, you know, 10 to 10 to 15, depending on how far it's going. Like, you'll just kind of get a feel for it. Uh, and can I add my LLC after I opened a selling account? Yes. Yes. So that's a cool thing is that you can always change that stuff. Pro tip, if you guys ever are going to change any info on your seller account, always make sure you give Amazon a call prior. 
your heart might drop a little bit if they <laughs> temporarily shut your account down for a couple hours just to verify that that was actually you changing that info if you don't call them in advance. So that's a important thing you want to remember. Yep. Uh, what point would it be logical to have an auto repricing tool? Yeah, well, I mean, if you have a lot of money, then like right away, um, if you're kind of just you know, bankrolling it, starting to put whatever you got, like probably once you're doing like a, a thousand, two thousand bucks a month in sales, um, but it saves you a good amount of time. Twenty five bucks a month. If you're spending more than a couple hours on repricing. The hourly is super worth it there. Have not been on buy box once or sold one. You're probably FBMing on listings where you're not FBM eligible or there are no sorry, buy box eligible and there aren't FBM sellers. Uh, FBM or FBA for books. I see mostly FBM and Amazon with buy box. Yeah, for books though, you should be selling used or you're probably going to be selling used stuff. That's going to primarily be FBA. Yeah, you can, um, the buy box stats don't mean much if you're doing used since you're yeah. selling books. Um, you can usually FBM like almost any book listing. Uh, it's just such a pain because there's yeah. so many different SKUs. They, they sell slower. Like, like yeah, yeah. You gotta have, you gotta have a good system for, for inventory and all that. Okay, good question here. Is there another way to scan items when the Amazon Seller Amp app and Seller Amp doesn't give the barcode on the item? Yeah, so what you want to do in that case is you can manually type in the product. Now, is that super scalable? No. If you have a hunch that the product looks cheap and that it'll probably be good, do it. Yeah, those are the gems though because everyone's scanning barcodes. Most people are too lazy to type in the product titles and too lazy to find the multi-packs online and, and all yep. that kind of stuff. That's why all those random niche listings win. Yeah, um, especially like Ollie's and stuff like that and grocery outlets. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Kind of stuff. Um, should you tell different kinds of products, uh, diversifying portfolio or focus on like clothing brands for the first year? Uh, I mean, whatever kind of clicks for you, man. Like start, you can start with the clothing brands if that stuff makes sense for you. Like it's going to be the easiest to scale just because tends to be the easiest to find coupons on. There's no wholesalers on it. Like, there's a lot of things going for it, but if you find success other places, then then go for it. Like that was a really good question. You're thinking about yeah, this the yeah. right way. Yeah. Like if you're in the mix and really doing it 1031, leads are gonna find you. Like if you're working with other sellers, if you're doing a lot of storefront stocking and such, you're just gonna stumble upon different products. And it's not really gonna matter what brand they're from because the data is the data. So that's a really good question there. Yeah, if you're worried about it, just set aside some time to source stuff you've never looked at before. Once a week, once a day, whatever it is, a small amount of your sourcing time, just explore something brand new. Be okay with being bad at it because you never know what might become your next big loop. Um, when getting ungated, do you have to use the name of your business or the name on your seller central? Either one. I would always I always like to just do my name though, honestly. Um, doesn't really matter though. What are you doing when you're in store and can't get internet for selling up any workaround? Ask the employees that they have any native Wi-Fi, but typically I have no. some store Wi-Fi or something. Yeah, typically nothing you can do like beyond uh, beyond some know-how. Take pictures of a couple items you have a hunch on. Look them up when next time you're at home and and see if it's some the kind of thing you can replenish because anyone else scanning at the same store is having the same issue. What up, Dyson? Um, does Amazon report quarterly sales tax? Uh, talk to a CPA, but pretty sure, yeah. Um, when reverse sourcing, do you look into the brands they sell or the general list? Definitely the brands they sell primarily, but everyone's catalogs different. Like some people are going to be heavily weighted towards certain brands. That's probably where they make the most of their money. Some people aren't going to be, and then there isn't really much use to filter to specific brands. Yep. Mobile hotspot. Yeah. That could work too. Probably no reception at all, but yeah. Yeah, what is up with the uh, what's up with the Twitter view botting? <laughs> yeah, how much is it? How much is it? <laughs> Supposedly 130. I've noticed it on all Twitter live streams that all the numbers are juiced. All the numbers. Elon, are Elon's trying to make the website look busier or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like literally all of them. Yeah, it's saying just 130 just on Twitter. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. Okay, that definitely is not legit. Cool, sweet. So for any anyone who joined recently, in an hour and 15 minutes, we have a really good free live training going down. So definitely make sure you guys get a. Get registered for that. We're going to put you on a ton of good info that you haven't seen anywhere else. Yep. Yeah, I just dropped that link down below. It's always a good time. It's it's super fun. With uh, we we drop some serious sauce on the call, so it's super fun to see people's reactions and stuff. Um, so we need you to bring the energy tonight. We've had some we've had some great energy on the last few uh the last few classes. Oh, yeah. So I'm sure it'll keep going tonight. Yeah, bro. Buy box fans. Yeah, Dyson. We got to talk about some other stuff too. I think we could work together in some uh, some other capacities um as as well sweet cool okay uh what are the steps to actually get started yes so definitely you want to come to the free training tonight 
Um, get your Amazon seller account open. Um, SellerAmp subscription, you can get a free trial on our website, selleramp.com. You're also going to want to have a Keepa subscription. Um, and then also, I'm a big fan of doing all the auto one gate ASINs to get going with that. There's a link to that in the description. And then starting out with storefront stalking and retail arbitrage. Do you think it is possible for me to grow an Amazon FBA business in the US from Portugal? Absolutely, man. Find some people that are from uh, your country or a country like yours that are doing it. They'll help you figure out the legalities of getting started. And then once you're established, we'll help you do the rest just with our free yeah. content that's native, whether you're in the US or not. Yeah, especially international. Getting started is the most annoying part by far, like getting all that in place. But I mean, being be something being hard to start or being hard at the beginning, like a lot of you guys are in that stage where it might be a little bit hard. That's a good thing because most people aren't willing to push through that. And that's why it, that's why it works for so long. You return items for your money back within the return date. So we don't. Um, some people have some insanely strong opinions on that. Personally, your money is your money. Do what you want. The stores have return policies um, in place for a reason. Um, however, you are going to be penalizing yourself uh, through yeah. future scalability if you are doing that. Um, some people get like really butthurt about that. I could care less. Like you're like protect your fuck. Like you got to save yourself first, you know? Yeah. But no, uh, very uh, over, Yeah. Overall, it is still yeah. better for you to not return because next yeah. time you want to buy products from that website, they're like, nope, we're canceling this guy because he wanted to save 200 bucks six months ago. Yeah. If you have a prep center, are you just sourcing and sending it in? Yeah, basically. So you, you essentially just, you purchase, then it gets shipped to the prep center. You update the spreadsheet and stuff, and then you're good to go from there. And you obviously got to manage pricing, make sure it's checking in any discrepancies, et cetera, but it does take substantially less, uh, less effort in that regard in terms of like receiving the product and everything like that. The boy FBA Elijah just tapped in. Yeah. Y'all check out. We got the buy box bandits podcast, almost tuning in on uh, 180 episodes right there. Check that out. The man. Yes, sir. Thanks for offering this webinar. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait till you see it too. You haven't even seen it yet. It'll be a lot of, uh, yeah, we're jamming on the prep center stuff tonight too. Um, Adi, I'll show you, I'll show you how to find a prep center, what good ones are kind of like what to ask that kind of stuff. Do you recommend using a prep center as a beginner? It depends on like your goal and such, you know, and in terms of when you want to have one, I'd say like once you can send it 500 units per month, that's going to be like typically they're going to have minimums similar to that. Um, so that's where I would recommend starting once you can send 500 units a month. Yeah. Seeing a lot of far addresses on FBM shipments can be a metric of high demand. I like, yeah, that's a good way of thinking about it. Absolutely. Because it means there's no one in their area who has the same shipping template as you. So you either have a crazy good shipping template where it's like zero day handling, super quick delivery times, that kind of stuff, or there's no one in that part of the country with stock. So yeah, that's, that's probably the type of thing to stock up on. Yeah. And he, uh, you also come to the streams often, zero, or, uh, um, hundred percent ROI FPM. So like your aura is strong. Like yeah, hundred ROI is rich. Yeah. Like, like, the, the Amazon, <laughs> like Amazon wants to give you buy box shit. Yeah um you need wholesale how do you find wholesale distributors um you based on the question you probably aren't selling anything on amazon yet so i would start with arbitrage um i just posted a two and a half hour long youtube video that's like a literal full step by step so start there come to the full class come to the free class tonight and then you'll have a lot better kind of questions to ask but what's cost of shipping fbm uh so alexa it depends on the weight of the item go to how to fbm.com it's a little google doc god i got for y'all that has the breakdown there fbm is when amazon deals with your items yes yeah exactly tyler yep 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 yeah tyler so that's why you're not selling stuff dude it's because you probably listed a couple listings on items where people aren't getting fbm buy box share you're not even buy box eligible yet send that stuff into fba and it'll move Will you be talking about the third party prep centers? Yeah, that's really the only type of prep center. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, mentioned one of the videos prep center is key if you want to scale. What's the ROI that you would recommend to cover the extra cost? Uh, yeah, Aaron, I mean, a lot of times it saves you money to use a prep center too. Um, just because if you pay like six, 7% sales tax, it's pretty standard. If you're buying $20 items, it's cheaper to pay somebody else to do the work for you. Um, that's kind of the, the equation there. Um, yeah, cheap like, stuff you can still rip yourself though yeah it's a crazy arbitrage right if you're paying you know if you say you live in arkansas you're paying like nine or ten percent sales tax right a 50 dollars product instead of paying 54 5 you might pay 53 right and that compounded across thousands of items how do you know when you're a buy box eligible it'll say on your uh your inventory like it'll show what time's the class tonight sorry i'm new don't worry about it rumble jr 7 p.m eastern 7 p.m eastern yeah, what up? Oh, what up, Zach? My dog in the building. Yes, sir. 
<laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. We're jamming on lots of uh, lots of good product sourcing stuff. Lots of uh, lots of stuff that we don't we genuinely don't put on YouTube too. So yep. I'm soaking the uh, soaking the knowledge tonight. Yeah, I promise you, some of y'all are gonna be spamming those W's in the chat as you see some of this uh, this stuff rolling. It's been a while <laughs> since I joined us. Well, hey, here we are. Good to have you in here. Good to have you in here. You never mentioned PPC and getting on the front page. Is this not so important? So the cool thing is we're reselling products. So we're selling listings that have already existed for a while, right? We're what we're not doing is we're not creating our own brand or creating our own product. That totally works. It's just a lot more expensive and time consuming for beginners. Um, so we don't do any PPC, don't do any advertising, don't create any listings, don't run any ads. All we do is find profitable name brand products, then sell them on Amazon. Hope that makes sense, Reagan. Yep. Yeah, it's like one of the reasons why it's very good to start easiest kind of way to start Amazon, all that good stuff. Because all you have to do is find an item cheap and they already sell. You're literally just supplying the demand that's already there, basically. Um, yeah, Stefan, softwares like that are going to miss almost all of the good stuff. Um, yeah, and specifically TA, they completely torched by the company that bought them. They tend to just <laughs> ruin anything they're touching these days. So, um, yeah, you don't want to be using that too much these days. Isn't the search really tedious? Isn't working a job for 40 yeah. years really tedious? Yeah. That sounds a hell of a lot more tedious than sourcing some products on Discord with the boys. Yeah. Plus, um, anything a software that can anything a software can spit out to you is going to spit out to everybody else who's using the software. Anything yeah. that you're digging and finding manually, you're talking with friends, you found the right coupon combinations, like. All that kind of stuff you're gonna have a you're gonna have a good time how do we find wholesale uh and distributors for pet products please answer got you so start out on google man you'll instantly find uh probably several thousand of them on google and then some of them are going to be able to open an account with you as well i love the box profile pics yeah well the discord with the gang is way more fun well, yeah exactly know. right you know you got to choose you got to choose if you you know are going to talk to karen from hr often or if you're going to get rich with that <laughs> What do you yeah, say? You're going to choose your coworkers or, or let them yeah. choose them for you, right? It is more the, – the job The job is more rewarding than searching for pro – uh, you're probably in the wrong place. Stephon. You're in the wrong spot, you're man. You're probably in the wrong place, brother. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want to spend the – if I mean, I respect it. If you want to yeah, spend the yeah, next – Yeah, exactly. If you yeah. like spending the next 40 at the office and you're cool with that, then that, that's what makes you happy. Then do it. To break down what each thing is for, payment tab. Um, So we're not going to show that specifically home decor. The cool thing is they're gonna, there's going to be a good explanation of that on Google from Amazon. That one up, one up, what up? Damn, Karen. <laughs> Would you say Kohl's is still good for Nike? I'm getting, yeah, someone DM'd me like, uh, it was literally earlier today. He was saying like, yeah, bro, it still works. I was like, I'm hip. What's a good catalog scraper? Um, I'm not sure what the best one is, honestly. Take, do some free trials of the different ones on Google and see what, uh, what it kind of, what performs best. That's a nice thing about trying out the different softwares, right? Seller Ample, y'all can literally just try it for free. Not caring from HR. Exactly. Oh, Sherry, exactly. <laughs> Sherry, you gotta be careful out here. You know, you can't be can't be getting in the mix with Sherry from HR. <laughs> at, least I, at least I hope not. Sweet, cool. Okay, keep the questions coming, y'all. We'd love to jam. What's a placement fee when shipping two boxes? Yes, that is a new fee Amazon recently added, my friend. Why don't you use products like programs like Source Mogul or Tactical Arbitrage? Yes, because Anything a software can automate and spit out to you is going to be spit out to a ton of other people. It's just not that effective. It doesn't account for different coupons, different discounts, and that's primarily the way you make online arbitrage work. Yeah. Yeah. Using one of those, you're running like a 5% margin store, if that. If yeah. you do all your work yourself, you're closer to 10 to 20%, depending on you know what you're digging for. Probably closer to 20, the more people you're talking to, the more Amazon sellers that know you, all that kind of stuff. Uh, would you say manual sourcing is advantage over software due to overlooking potential product? Yeah, exactly. Like oh, yeah. the software is going to miss all the multi packs. It's going to miss all the listings where the UPC is incorrect um, or the UPC is not there, but the items the exact same, um, you know, slightly ever so slightly different where the fabric blends are all the same. The picture might look a little bit different. A software is going to miss that. Like um, all those types of products are typically the most profitable because they're the hardest to find. Uh, bucket during the during the day, band at night. Yes, sir. That's a fact right there. Where do you guys start sourcing? Yeah, start out storefront stocking from like a Nike product or an Adidas product. Uh, can you talk yeah. about the filing tax aspect? That's a C CPA question, my man. Yeah, it's going to depend on your state, depend on your 
whatever you made. There's just too many factors there. Don't I, trust don't trust twenty somethings with your <laughs> on the internet with your taxes. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll show you how to make some money, but we we we're not going to be the ones that keep you out of the the audit or whatever. <laughs> It'll be way cheaper to ship through Amazon with EPS, the, yep. like what they automatically offer. You done antique arbitrage? That's sick. Um, higher volume via Amazon brings in here. Yeah, yeah. I mean that that's uh you probably make really good money with that. It's just going to be a lot harder to scale. I'm, but it's probably why you're here. Um, yeah, so yeah. Cool. it's going to yeah, translate. That is cool. There. Yeah, that those skills will translate for sure. Yeah. New Keepa feature, any value? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we'll show you guys that tonight too. Yeah, I'll show, show you a couple of use cases and stuff on that. Um, should you get seller and keep before buying to ungate? I mean, you need them to find something. So whenever you'll use them to find something and then you'll buy that to ungate. So yes. But I never find the sources the seller find their items for to resell and is not found by Google. Okay, well, you're not looking at the right products then because any Nike product you look up, a website's going to have it on Google. Bricks sell like crazy, but yeah. Oh, damn. So you're doing that. Damn, that's cool. Okay, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't be doing that type of stuff on there. How to get ungated for beauty procs. You're probably auto ungated in it, honestly, dude. There's a very good chance you're auto ungated in the beauty category. And then each brand just ungate from the brand website. It is never profitable. Okay, Stefan, man. If, if you see the world, like if the glass is half empty, the world sucks. If the glass is half beautiful. full, the world's beautiful, man. Like you just got to put in the reps. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You don't need, yeah, Reagan, you're not going to need Jungle Scout for arbitrage. Yeah. Way too expensive. It's like a private label tool, Reagan. Yeah. Um, 40 bucks a month, seller and Pekipa. It's all you need. It'll really be all you need to source pretty much forever unless you want to get fancy with it later. Could you tell me a little bit about FBM, please? Yes. FBM is a game changer right? FBM, you can sell the procs quicker, you can learn quicker and make money quicker. Uh, however, not every listing is FBM friendly. FBM is when you ship the proc directly to the customer, not in bulk to Amazon. You ship it out one by one. Is that more work? Yes. Is it more money? Typically, yes. However, you need to make sure that that listing is actually FBM friendly. Not every listing is FBM friendly. Yeah, just check like selling at buy box stats on that and then um, list it, move your money as soon as possible. That's kind of the major benefit there. You'll avoid if you're running into like if you're a beginner and a lot of beginners complain about tanking. If you're two weeks sooner to the item because you FPM it all, you're going to be way less likely. Nope. Man, um, lying there. Yeah. Well, uh, seller has more features, Chuck. Yep. And uh, blessings still getting in. So, uh, Tato, hit my DMs on the gram and I'll send you an auto and gate or auto deny guide. There, how can you tell if a listing is FBA friendly? Every listing is FBA friendly unless it's hazmat and you can't FBA it yet. Um, if you want to see if something's FBM friendly, check the data buy box statistics on Kiva and see if 20% of the buy box or more is going to FBM sellers. What about shipping charges? Shipping charges are also included in that, man. Like, um, you just, you don't pay FBA fees. So you do pay individual shipping, which is pretty much the same cost. Yeah. It's, it is nice. It generally works out like if, to roughly the ship to Amazon plus pick and pack. Literally the same thing. It, yeah. Which is clutch. Except for like really light or really heavy stuff. It's kind of the only exception, but most of the stuff you guys buy will not be in that range. Um, how much time do you spend sourcing each day? I've spent probably... <laughs> 15 minutes a week <laughs> the team does it i just pretty much source when i'm helping my team or other people source i think miles would probably say the same you source yeah. some students and stuff what up johnson oh I, I love that fucking energy johnson i gotta follow you right there per unit to account for shipping charges yeah add in a uh, 60 cents per pound there i meant for fbn uh yeah same yes. exact thing yeah. same exact thing man yeah so it's it's essentially uh if you want exact ones correlated to weight go to how to fbm.com yeah. yeah, plug in plug in some dimensions and weights next time you get an order and write start start writing stuff down. I feel like my seller amp aren't correct. Even at discount, the price I have to get them is for the cents. Uh yeah, you probably have 10 to oh, for that type of item though, that makes sense. Yeah. Unless you have like a prep center cost factored in, which um you definitely could. Can I buy the T? Uh what do you mean? sweet okay we officially have exactly one hour till we'll be hopping on with you guys for that so we'll see you guys there sweet
Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Yeah, sell, seller amp settings. Yeah, so you want to go to settings on selleramp.com and add in your sales tax rate as well as estimated shipping costs. Oh, okay. It's all for sale. Okay. It's all for sale. Hit my DMs. Hit my DMs. Well, uh, I'll help out with that. Can I switch from professional to individual? Which one's better? You totally can. Um, professional is a billion times better than I'm in a wheelchair. Should I do FBA or FBM? One of my friends, Will, is actually in a wheelchair too. And he did, uh, I think, a six-figure month, predominantly FBM. Um, obviously, it depends on um, like your uh, capabilities and such, right? And everything. But it's it's for the most part, it's the same amount of work. You should definitely look into getting a prep center though too. Yeah, I'm probably get a prep center. Maybe FBM, a couple of things you can go really deep on. But you don't want to be digging through a bunch of different, a whole yeah. bunch of different ASINs and stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I say never patience is key. Fuck my bad. It's all for sale. I gotta check that out. My bad, my bad. Cool, cool. Sweet. So we'll be on a couple more minutes. So any questions y'all got, let us know. We would love to help. Uh, FBA storage fees seem really high. Watching somebody explain how they keep getting higher. Yeah, I mean they, they raise fees every year. Prices on Amazon go up. Seen it probably five years in a row now. It's kind of nature of the beast. Um, as far as storage fees, you're not you only pay them if your stuff doesn't sell. So with arbitrage, you're not buying anything it doesn't sell. So storage fees aren't really the issue. It's the it's the shipping. It's the you know it's the actual Amazon fees. Like that's the stuff you actually have to to think about. For FDM with prep center to customer, what do you think? That's a good idea. Yeah, they'll do it. What's the difference ROI and margin? ROI is based on what you paid. Profit margin is based on what you sell for. I can't, I'm cooked. I can't find hardly anything. Colton, you've been in here for a while, man. You still haven't started on socials? What's a realistic profit to be making after six months starting with 3K? Uh, do that compounded every 45 days with a 30% ROI, and that's about what you're going to get on average. Do you use a prep center? Yes, we both do. Several, actually. Yep. Um, yeah, the one. Um, do most mostly FBA, get a prep center in a sales tax-free state, and then find a few FBM ASINs that you can go deep on. That way you're not having to do a whole bunch of different, like digging through stuff, especially if you got, you know, in the, if you're in the wheelchair, it's be a little harder to dig through a whole bunch of different stuff. Non-brand slash Adidas. I'm getting what's the best category to start. So categories you're mostly not going to do. It's mostly going to be brands. Um, but if you're talking smaller ones, um, it's going to be, uh, probably whatever you're finding profitable, honestly, how many listings should I test as a beginner? As many as possible, Peter, seven K in sales, but I hit a wall. I walk away with sourcing from with nothing. Okay. Well, you're not using the right discounts, man. So let's, let's get hooked up and figure that out. What do you think about finding stuff at Costco and Sam's definitely don't do uh, manual sourcing on there. That's going to be a nightmare. Um, cause those types of websites don't really do any tight sort of fancy coupons or discount mechanisms that make it feasible to find a lot of stuff profitably, um, honestly. But if you come across those randomly, it's a great idea, but um, it's not going to just immediately like, like it's not just, there's not going to be stuff sitting on there that's good ever, pretty much. Yeah, you'll, you'll usually like be bundling or splitting stuff apart if you're sourcing from there. So if you manually source, you're going to have to do some detective work to figure it out. See, now that is a really good idea there, right? If you're talking two packs and stuff, there's going to be a lot of bread on there, yeah. I sell mostly items with $3 profit. Would you consider those prep center friendly? Yeah, unfortunately, Mark, uh, at those low ASPs, low average sale prices, it's a lot more typical with that stuff, man. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. if you're paying sales tax right now, it might be similar. Yeah, depending. Um, depending yeah. yeah. I guess since it's $3 profit, you're probably buying $10 items. So you probably pay, like, might, might, make, might make you lose like 50 cents or something per unit on that. Um, love and ability to cycle between inbound placement fees on seller at bank. Thanks, Joe. Glad it's being glad it's useful. Being from, do I need to use one? Do you suggest this one? Yeah, I mean, any any sales tax free state. Yeah, good website. Don't get Corolla wherever you're finding it profitably, which is probably going to be Walmart or Kohl's or one of those big retailers, big big retailers. For sure. Um, looking to a press center in Montana. Being from New Zealand, I need to use one. Yeah, you can use that, Regan. Ideally, it, try to find one on the East Coast if you can. But there's way less like credible, um, good prep centers on the East Coast that aren't already maxed out. Is the problem? Uh, can I ungate BD with Proxy Malta? Yeah, guys. The bigger the retailer, the like the if you've heard of the retailer to work from, getting is Alibaba a good source to get Proxy from? Nope. If you want to do private label, yes. However, if you're asking that question. Um, you're probably not ready to do private label. Yeah, David, check my seller store on YouTube for that. 
Do you get tax free? Um, if you're shipping to a sales tax free state, Jay, then it just automatically doesn't happen. Um, but you can also get a resale permit for your state. The problem is that most websites don't accept it though. So that's why you typically have to ship to a state with no sales tax. They'll take it for like nonprofits and stuff, but not for resale. Yeah. Unfortunately, life would be a little bit more profitable if that was the case, but that's fine. What do I do if I send my Nike invoice a couple of times? Uh, all of us had to send our Nike invoice yeah. a couple of times. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, sweet. We'll uh, probably wrap up here then. Um, got the free class going down in 54 minutes. <laughs> um, tons of good stuff. Uh, lots of you guys are asking questions. It'll be answered. Um, over delivering on the value, all that kind of stuff. Um, super high ROI way to spend uh, two hours tonight. And then you'll leave with pretty clear roadmap on what you actually need to do. Um, kind of step by step how to do a 10K per month on Amazon and beyond. Pick up some gems, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, it's always a good time. Cool. Sweet. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a, How does the seller's perm work? Yeah, it'll only work in store or on certain websites. So you can look up the website name tax exempt and you'll see if it works. They decline. That's fine. Resubmit. Resubmit. Yep. Cool. All See right. you guys soon. Get ready.